Hey, you guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, you guys. This is a story. Jesus, I never thought I would have to, to cover. Don't want to cover. This is extremely, extremely sad. Um, this is going to come with a trigger warning. I'm mind blown. I literally just, somebody sent me this in a text message right after I got off my last stream. And I was like, there is no way this is true. This cannot be true. Oh, my goodness. And unfortunately, I checked and it is true. Um, sister wife star Janelle Brown, her husband Cody Brown, their son Garrison, who is 25, was found earlier today deceased. And it is from a suspected, it is a suspected unaliving. I do want to be clear. I know we have our feelings and our thoughts about this family, but right now they are going through it. This just happened today, or he was just found today. So I don't want to lay any extra anything on anybody i just want to send prayers tell you guys what's happening and if you believe in the power of prayer please be praying for this family so let's go ahead let's get into what happened or before that if you don't know who garrison is garrison is the son of cody and janelle brown he is cody's eighth child and janelle's fourth he is the brother of logan aspen leon madison mckelty hunter peyton gabriel gwendolyn isabel savannah truly solomon and ariella and Dayton, they left Dayton out. He was born April 10th, 1998. He was the couple's fourth child. They went on to have two more children after him. Garrison's dad has four total wives and has he has 12 other half siblings from those marriages. Garrison was raised in Lehigh, Utah until he was 14, at which point his family moved to Las Vegas, Nevada. He graduated from Centennial High School in 2016. Um, he joined the military. He enlisted in the Nevada Army National Guard. It, on November 19, 2015. He wanted to join the Army, but joined the Nevada National Guard as a compromise with his father, who wanted him to attend school first. His mother did not approve of his decision to enlist, saying he's 17 and thinks he's invincible. At 17, you don't comprehend that you actually could get shot at, and those bullets might actually hit you. Garrison left for basic training July 12, 2016. Garrison graduated from basic training September 25, 2016. Garrison is currently a student at the College of Southern Nevada. It is unknown what he is studying. Uh, and this is an older article, so I don't know if he was still, I don't know if he is, you know, still in school, but this was like an older write-up. In 2019, he opened his own clothing store consisting of Hawaiian floral, floral shirts called Bob's Floral. Um, when this article was written, he was dating Kylie Marshall, but I'm not sure what his relationship status is right now i don't know if they keep this updated but let's hop on over to tmz this is extremely sad you guys this is extremely 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 sad especially because gabriel from what i'm understanding gabriel found garrison and gabriel is younger and you know gabriel was the one on the show that like broke down when talking about his dad i can't even imagine the state that he's in right now okay so janelle brown's son garrison has died and it appears his death is a on a live the sister wife star who appeared alongside his mother and father cody brown on the hit tlc series over the years passed away tuesday in flagstaff arizona where he had his home after having moved away from his family i know that on the show gabriel was going to live Gar garrison and gabriel were going to live together so i don't know if maybe they did and gabriel come home to let's see flagstaff pd tells us officers responded to garrison's home tuesday morning on a report of a death, and when they arrived, they discovered him dead at the scene. We're told Garrison appears to have suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound. There was no foul play suspected, and for now, police are looking into this as an apparent unaliving. Flagstaff PD says Garrison's brother Gabriel arrived at the house and found him there. No word on whether a note was left behind. We're told an investigation is underway. This is the worst thing that could happen. Garrison has appeared on Sister Wives since it first aired on the network back in 2010 when he was just a kid. The series chronicles his dad's polygamous lifestyle in Utah where Cody had multiple wives. Janelle was one of them until they got divorced last year. As for Garrison, he is one of Cody's many children and has several siblings and half-siblings, many of whom are also featured on the show. All in all, he's Cody and Janelle's fourth child. He has five direct siblings and two other half-siblings from different marriages. I did hop on over to like everybody's Instagram just to see. Oh, y'all. This is going to make me cry. 
Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. Oh, my God. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honors, honoring his memory. Oh, my God, y'all. You know, you've had, you know, when you've lost someone so close to you, you know what she means when she says that the loss takes their breath away. Because I know with, um, like, my miscarriage, uh, Abram, my grandparents, like, it's like one of those, you know, where it, like, uh, it hurts you in your chest and your soul, you know. And as, God, uh, he was such a beautiful guy, you know. He was always so lighthearted and kind and, but not afraid to stand up, you know, for what he believed in. Oh, my goodness, Janelle, I'm so sorry. She turned the post off. Let's see if Cody's posted. Yeah, Cody posted the same thing. Janelle and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in our lives. Our, our loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that takes our breath away. So he posted the same thing. Let's see about TLC. I know I checked several of their pages, like Gwendolyn. They still haven't posted TLC. Y'all, this is so sad. As far as I knew, he didn't deal with any mental health, but sometimes you don't know when people deal with mental health, you know? Sometimes that's a secret that people don't share. I hope they surround Gay with love right now. This is going to be so tough. He's going to need therapy. That's going to be an image that I, I, I don't even know if he'll ever be able to get out of his head. And I just pray that somehow he will be able to move forward past this. I don't want to blame anybody for this because we don't know what he was struggling with. And, you know, whenever you grow up in whatever family dynamic, you're going to have times where you may fight with this one or not get along with this one. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want, I, I'm, I'm not going to say that this is the blame on anybody, uh, just maybe mental health. Um, I, man, say what you want. I just couldn't imagine being a parent and, you know, my life being filmed not knowing how it was going to play out and it playing out maybe in a way that wasn't my favor and then my child unaliving themselves and me see that people blame me for it i would literally not i don't want to affect somebody else's mental health like that to place place the blame on them you know we don't know what he was struggling with it could be so many things so let's just I, that's what i ask us let's give this family some grace um cody and janelle are going to be going through enough uh so we don't need a place any blame on them for this happening no matter what happens like between like a father and a son or a mother and a son parents never suspect oh well because maybe because in cody's mind he's just like i stood my ground you know maybe that's his thought is i stood my ground with him they said did something that that i felt was disrespectful to my spouse so i i wanted an apology and i stood my ground you know cody's not thinking oh I'm, I'm going to be this way, whether he likes it or not. And if that drives him crazy to the point of he's mentally struggling, oh, well, it is what, like, I guarantee you, if Cody or Janelle knew that there was anything that they could say or do to stop this, they would have done it in a heartbeat. I just don't want them to ever feel like this is their fault. Because no matter what happens between family members, you can always come back from that. And people do say and do things when they are upset and they are bothered, you know. So I don't know, you guys. I, I know some of you guys have your opinions, too, of maybe where the blame should lie. And I'm just saying, as a parent, I couldn't imagine, even if maybe I did do something wrong and I did lay some very negative feelings on my child unknowingly, I would not want to, like, open up social media and see people blaming me. This is the real time in their life, you know, and any of us parents, would we imagine that loss and then imagine people blaming you like so let's just oh that's true people can be the absolute best parents out there and their children still deal with mental health problems and end up unaliving themselves the kids are just reposting what um janelle and them posted i'm surprised tlc hasn't posted anything yet that's where we're at right now you guys i had to get on here and give you guys the news so this morning 911 call was put into the flagstaff police reporting a deceased person the, sh the police showed up and it was garrison who was deceased due to self-inflicted gunshot wound they suspect no foul, foul play he was 
found by his younger brother, Gabriel. Um, Janelle and Cody have made a post. They all made the decision as a family to start making posts together. Anyways, yes, tell your loved ones how much you love them. Talk to your children about mental health. You know, explain that when you are not okay, you know, when your mental health is suffering, that you're you're just not thinking correctly and your mind will convince you that nobody cares, that your struggles are too much to lay on them. That's not true. We love our loved ones so much that we would sit and listen to their problems and to the end of time, if it meant saving their life, I know I would, and I know everybody else would too. You guys, just tell your loved ones you love them. Pray for this family. Please pray, pray for this family and send prayers for them. And Gabriel, I hope he is just, the whole family, I hope they're surrounded by love because this is just, I can't even, it's harder for me to say I need help. Yeah. He looks so happy at Christine's wedding. Yeah. And that's the thing is a lot of times these people, you know, they do look sad. Look at Twitch, Robin Williams. I mean, a lot of times people that are suffering, it is in silence. We don't even know. We don't even know. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I just ask that you guys give this family some grace. Please don't go to their page right now and leave negative comments. I'm begging that of you. If you want to go to their page, you know, and tell them you're praying for them or sending them love, they probably need that. But I'm telling you, when you're going through something like a loss of a family member and you see that one negative comment, that is the one negative comment that will stick with you. So you guys, please note that no negativity. They don't need it. That family just needs support right now. I guarantee you there's going to be people in the family that has regrets for, you know, maybe not doing this and not doing that. So anyways, you guys, I love y'all. Like, share, subscribe, go send them your love, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm not, I'm not done today. I got several more streams today, so just make sure you keep your eye out. Bye, guys.